This is the Beats Solo Pro. This is Beats' first on-ear headphone with active noise cancellation. It's got a totally new design from previous Solo headphones. There is metal in this one. It is a much sturdier headphone. It's a bit heavier than previous models. That's because there's more stuff going on in here. As you know, Beats is owned by Apple. So that H1 chip is the same chip that's in the AirPods. Gives you the easy pairing. Um, it's also about sound processing, energy efficient, all those things that come with that chip that you expect from the AirPods and other uh, Beats products. Now, one of the things I noticed about this is that it is a very comfortable on-ear headphone. Beats has done a lot with the padding and also the shape of the headphone. And also that metal design takes some of the pressure off your ears so that when you put it on at first, it feels like your typical on-ear headphone. But as you wear it, um, it does feel more comfortable and you can wear it for longer periods of time. This is definitely heavier than previous solo models. Um, it feels like a more substantial headphone. It's almost the same weight as some over-ear headphones, maybe not quite that much, but does have that streamlined design of an on-ear model. You have the hinges like this. It does not fold flat, but it comes with a carrying case uh, that allows you to protect it. That carrying case is actually recycled plastic that's made into felt. I don't know exactly what memory foam uh, Beats is using in this, but it is very nicely padded. It almost feels like gel inside, and that really creates a tight seal on your ears. You do get a lot of passive noise cancellation from these just by having them on. Um, you can then do active noise canceling. You press the button, you get active noise canceling, or you get a transparency mode if you hit that button again, and that mode allows you to hear the world around you. Um, Say you're on a plane and you want to talk to a flight attendant, you press the button and you can talk to the flight attendant. One of the things about this headphone is that it does not have a power button. You simply fold it and unfold it to power it on. That's an automatic feature. And then um, the other thing is this is charged via lightning. Um, it has a lightning uh, cable for charging. The one thing that is missing, however, is a wired connection. Beats is going to sell an accessory, um, could be in the $20 range, that allows you to connect this via lightning to a headphone jack. So if you're on a plane, you could use it as a wired headphone. These are also supposed to be very good for making calls. There are a total of six microphones. Two of those microphones are on the outside. And those are beam forming. Those are very highly directional microphones that are supposed to capture your voice. Um, and then you have two external microphones for the noise canceling, calculating the noise canceling. And there's also a couple of microphones on uh, the inside of the ear cups for also calculating the noise canceling. So not only are you getting the active noise canceling uh, for drowning out the outside world, but you're also getting noise reduction so that callers, when you're calling, will not hear that noise around you. Um, you also have the option of making a call with noise canceling on or with it off. On the headphone, there are no touch controls. Uh, there is a physical three-way rocker, so that gets you volume up, volume down, and then there's a button in the middle that allows you to advance tracks forward and back. This also has Hey Siri, that's always on Siri, so you can also use those controls with your voice. Um, and if you have another uh, assistant, like Google Assistant, if you're using an Android phone, you can do that, and there is an app for Android users that allows for easier pairing, so you get some of those features that you would get as if you were an iOS user. As part of the demo, Beats did play some noises that included train noise, also made believe if you were on an airplane. And the idea there is to show that you can toggle through both the noise canceling and transparency modes so that you can allow sound in and just see the differences between the two and feel really what it's like to get that noise canceling. The previous Solo 3 wireless um, had about 40 hours of battery life, and this has the same amount, at least if you don't use the noise canceling. It goes down to 22 hours of battery life with active noise canceling. And there's also a quick charge feature here that allows you to get three hours of battery life from a 10 minute charge. I did get a chance to use these for a little bit. 
um, and was pretty impressed by the sound. Um, it's very good, particularly for an on-ear headphone. Um, does offer balanced sound, uh, nicely detailed. Does have, of course, some punch to the bass, but the bass isn't bloated. These do have a new driver inside. I can't show it to you, but it is a custom driver that Beats designed with Apple. As you would expect from a Beats headphone, these are going to come in colors. At launch, you have a gray, an ivory, and a black. Um, and then there's gonna be a special edition that they're doing with Pharrell Williams. This red you see here, a blue and a sky blue. When I do a lot of these headphone videos, people do ask how well do these work with glasses? I'm obviously wearing glasses here, and I gotta say they work well with glasses. Um, I don't get any pinch here, which is a good thing. So that's uh, a nice feature of these. And as I said, they are very comfortable for on-ear headphones. Probably one of the most comfortable on-ear headphones I've tried. Now, if you remember, the Beats Solo 3 wireless started at $300. These also cost that. The Solo 3 are now less expensive, of course, but these will launch at $300. They will launch on October 15th and then ship on October 30th.